Welcome back to the Maritime Safety Talk channel. Up until 1917, the US Navy's warships relied on traditional logistics facilities for refueling, a method that was both inflexible and limited their deployment periods. But in 1899, the Navy began experimenting with a revolutionary technique, underway replenishment. This innovative method allowed ships to refuel while still in motion, vastly enhancing their operational capabilities. The declaration of World War I marked a significant turning point as the Navy conducted its first underway replenishment for 35 destroyers. Join us as we explore this game-changing development in naval history. To extend their operational range and stay deployed longer, the Navy uses underway replenishment. This practical technique requires the supply and receiving ships to maintain a synchronized course and speed, which is particularly challenging in bad weather. Storms can affect vessel stability, making maneuvering difficult. However, the expertise of the crew allows them to manage these challenges effectively. Conducting underway replenishment in rough sea states 4 and 5 demands precise coordination and teamwork. Every crew member, from deckhands to navigation officers, ensures the operation's safety and efficiency. Sailors on the aircraft carrier and the oiler vessel maintain a 180 to 200 foot separation using sight, phone lines and radio communication. A shot line is then fired to establish a connection for transferring lines and fuel hoses. Amid rolling waves, a delicate maritime operation unfolds. Wire handlers and the fueling team work with precision, connecting hoses between two massive ships. Both vessels move in sync despite the heaving ocean, with bridge officers intensely focused on maintaining course. They understand that even a minor shift at 11 knots can cause a significant drift, making their task both challenging and critical. The mission becomes more challenging when replenishing two receivers simultaneously, yet US sailors adeptly mitigate risks. The US Navy employs underway replenishment to supply fuel to various ships, including auxiliary ones like USNS ships, which are typically civilian manned by civil service mariners with some military personnel on board. USNS vessels support specific missions with communication and protection capabilities, though they face targeting risks despite being non-combatant. Equipped mainly for self-protection, USNS ships serve logistical roles such as transporting dry cargo, ammunition and fuel. Replenishment oilers are crucial for ensuring these vessels remain well supplied, vital for supporting diverse naval operations. During underway replenishment, communication and distance lines, along with tension span wires, are passed between ships. Fuel is transferred through hoses, while cargo-like medicine swings down from rigging transfer lines.
This method enables hospital ships to remain on station for extended periods, respond swiftly to emerging situations, and carry out sustained missions without interruption. Vertical replenishment, VERTREP, is another form of underway replenishment involving the delivery of cargo to vessels by aircraft. Helicopters, limited in carrying capacity, support connected replenishment with vertical replenishment, VERTREP, as a supplement. VERTREP is preferred for transferring ammunition, such as supplying the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson. During simultaneous replenishments, helicopters carefully delivered weapons loads, while the Clark-class dry cargo ship USNS Washington Chambers handled dry cargo transfers. During VERTREP operations, crews skillfully lower cargo on slings, navigating challenges like wind and sea state to deliver supplies to waiting decks below. Normally, the load includes two to four pallets with a total weight limit of 3,000 LBs. Handling munitions demands utmost attention, with the crew adhering to strict safety procedures. They synchronize the hovering helicopter with the ship's movements to prevent shocks. As the helicopter hovers above the ship, a crewman positions themselves carefully. Using the cargo hook, crew members observe the loads as they are lowered. Afterwards, the crew transfers the cargo from the deck inside the vessel using fork clips. Vertical replenishment, VERTREP, is crucial for maintaining the operational readiness of nuclear submarines. Unlike aircraft carriers, submarines have small rounded decks, making transfers more challenging. Interestingly, nuclear-powered submarines do not require refueling for up to 20 years due to their endurance. However, they still require regular resupply too. Supplying food, spare parts, medical supplies, and other essentials is crucial for maintaining optimal conditions during submarine deployments. US submarines can carry food for up to 90 days, after which they require replenishment at sea to extend their range and mission capability. Among various airborne platforms, the US Air Force's C-17 Globemaster III is ideal for transporting heavy cargo. It airdrops payloads to submarines like USS Henry M. Jackson, part of the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. The submarine was underway in the vicinity of the Hawaiian Islands. This dynamic capability allows for seamless resupply operations, enabling aircraft carriers, submarines and other ships within strike groups to receive essential provisions without requiring port visits. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.